Well, uh, you guys remember Jeff Lynn from the Economic Daily News. We talked about him when I made that video on the iPhone SE that nobody really wants, but the one we're going to get. I reported on that because while Jeff Lynn was not a reliable and has like a concrete track record analyst or leaker, the report made a whole lot of sense and it gave me different perspective on the iPhone SE. But then he had to go ahead and say this, that Apple's working on a foldable iPad within the 12 inch screen size. Oh yeah, and also it'll have 5G connectivity and when is it coming? Oh, early next year, probably 2020. Uh, no, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not it. You, you lost a lot of credibility after that, Jeff, I'm sorry. But today we'll be talking about why that doesn't make sense to those of you who just kind of read the headlines and go, oh, well, I heard they're making a foldable iPad, so that settles it 100% confirmed now. Because I feel like a lot of people on the internet right now just kind of read the headline and don't give any extra thought to it. They don't think about who said it, how reliable is that person, what is the likelihood of this happening, what are previous events that could tell us whether or not this particular instance is likely or unlikely. So that's why we're basically debunking this myth today so that hopefully you guys can get your hopes down, up, and depending on your stance on foldables, I don't know, let's begin. So first of all, let's start with the fact that foldable technology, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to say that it's not ready yet. Both Huawei and Samsung, who are trying to rush their foldable smartphones out into the market as quick as they can, are having to delay them and having to postpone them, even though Samsung will post online that, by the way, the redesign is done. We have finished the redesigned Galaxy Fold. They still say, yeah, but it's not going to ship until the holiday season. So we've got a few more months. That could potentially mean it ships in like November and December time period, even though it was a promised April originally. So this technology clearly is very much unready and Apple is not known for releasing technology that particularly early, especially if it turns out that the Huawei Mate X and the Galaxy Fold are coming out just a few months before the 2020 time frame. and knowing how these types of schedules and these types of timelines get distorted a lot, I think there's a good chance that you're going to see the Galaxy Fold 2 before we actually see the launch of the original Galaxy Fold. They may end up delaying the Fold even further for quality assurance reasons and releasing it in 2020, which means that whatever technology Apple is cooking up for potentially foldable devices is probably not much different from what Samsung and Huawei are already messing around with. The other issue I have with this report is it doesn't really detail how the foldable design of this iPad is going to work. Of course, we know from Huawei and Galaxy that there are lots of different implementations of a foldable. What necessarily doesn't mean that the display folds or bends or warps in any kind of way. Does it just mean that the iPad is going to feel like a 12 inch iPad and then when you're done with it, you can just fold it up and have a slightly more portable device? I mean, I have a 12 inch iPad Pro right now and I can tell you, even if you folded this thing in half, it's not like it would necessarily be more portable. It wouldn't fit in your pocket. It would still weigh the same. And I hate bringing it up, but do I also have to mention how many compromises you have to make with foldable displays, likely some of which Apple would not be fond of. If Apple is planning on making a foldable iPad, Take away your bending jokes. Haha, <laughs> I can just make a foldable iPad right now! There's no way that the display could actually be made of glass. And we know Apple cares about the premium feel and look of their iPads. And I think switching to a plastic 12 inch display would likely not feel very good for people who plan on using their Apple Pencil with their iPads. And also, should I mention that if we are folding up this iPad design, would the Apple Pencil 2 docking method still work with this? Because because if you're folding it down the middle in that particular configuration, where's the pencil supposed to hold on to? Maybe they're moving it to the side or something like that. But to me, I think they're comfortable with this form factor because they know that it can easily dock with a keyboard case. And if they were making a foldable iPad Pro, that would no longer work with the existing keyboard cases, particularly if you wanted to fold it up. So I think it's easy to say, I have some doubts about this technology. Maybe they're going the Huawei Mate X route where you have a large tablet in this configuration configuration, but instead of folding the display inward, you actually fold it outward, and then you basically have plastic on both sides of the iPad. Kind of makes it very difficult to sell cases and accessories or folio cases for that device if it ends up having display and plastic on both ends, because that's going to be particularly fragile. And also the benefit is you have a large tablet when you want to, and then more of a iPad mini-sized display when you want to. But we know how much Apple cares about the feel of the product 
product in the hand, and that means that one edge of the iPad would be plastic, while the other edge would be metal, or whatever they decide to make this mystical product out of. All I'm trying to say is right now, I can't really imagine a super practical, super possible design for an iPad of this size, just adopting the foldable technology. And then comes 5G. This is what makes me doubt the rumor even further, because historically, there are very few times that the iPad gets some type of internet connectivity support that the iPhone doesn't already have. Usually if Apple has the technology or they have the equipment ready for the latest cellular connectivity, they're going to implement it into the iPhone as soon as possible. And there are rumors that the 2020 iPhone is going to support 5G, which makes me very, very surprised that Apple would launch a 5G iPad like six months or so before the 5G iPhone becomes available. I feel like the iPhone is their baby. That's their bread and butter. That's what they would want to ship 5G with like ASAP. So to waste their 5G modems and their 5G adaptation on a foldable plastic iPad, eh, I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't go well for them. And on top of that even, the other primary reason I doubt this rumor and I doubt this leak is actually real is that Apple is the king of tablet manufacturing. They know what sells, even on their website. That budget $330 iPad, they list it as their most popular iPad. They know the sales of tablets better than everybody. They know that there's a good number of people that enjoy the new iPad Pros, but they also know those cheaper ones, those iPad minis, the iPad Air, that more affordable budget iPad. They know the sales of that. And if there's anything I know about technology that has 5G and has foldable displays, it is not cheap. And between the Galaxy Fold with its seven inch display at $2,000 and the Huawei Mate X with its eight inch display at $2,600, how much do you think a 5G iPad, by the way? Galaxy Fold, Mate X, neither of them have 5G support on the base configuration. They said there would be 5G versions later, but they don't even want to touch that yet because imagine how expensive it's going to be. Not only adopting 5G to the iPad, but also a 12 inch foldable display. Uh, if there's anything we know about foldable tech, it's that it is not cheap. And also we know that Apple is not known for undercutting the competition. It's not known for making technology much, much cheaper than its competitors. Meaning I'm not saying Apple can't make a foldable tablet. I'm sure they have the technology, but they know they shouldn't because the specs that we're being told by this report is basically describing like a $3,000, $4,000 iPad that they know for a fact very little people would actually want to buy. And the R&D costs and the manufacturing costs that would go into manufacturing such a complicated device. And also the timelines even off. We know from the past of iPad Pro releases, Apple likes to refresh the Pro line every 18 months, not every 12. And the fact that he's saying that there would be one in early 2020 would be kind of an accelerated release cycle. Like we're pretty confident that the soonest you'll possibly see a new version of the iPad Pro is at Worldwide Developers Conference in June, which is not early 2020, that's mid 2020. So the timeline doesn't make sense. The technology we know that's available doesn't make sense. We know Apple's knowledge of what iPads sell and what iPads don't. And like our friend John Prosser mentioned, the industry kind of needs compromise right now, less innovation. And I think Apple is well aware of that. The only way to ship more iPad Pro models isn't to make a foldable iPad Pro, it's to make a more affordable iPad Pro than what we currently have, which a lot of people love. A lot of people say is ahead of its time. Probably the only downside of the iPad Pro is when it bends, which it has been reported to, and the fact that it starts at $800 and $1,000, depending on which configuration you get. Apple needs more affordable iPads, and they're well aware of that. I don't need to tell them that. That's why they make the budget iPad. That's why they worked so hard on re-releasing the iPad mini this year and the iPad Air. They know those are going to sell well. It feels like Apple's moving into a direction that well knows what people are willing to pay for an iOS device. And just because you can make an iPad that's slightly more compact, but would still be huge, chunky, fragile with that plastic, display, expensive with the 5G implementation, also giving 5G support to the iPad before the iPhone. None of this report makes sense. That's why I'm calling BS baloney sandwiches on this one. I think Jeff Lynn is looking at something in the assembly line and coming up with some wild conclusions that aren't real. So no, I do not believe Apple is releasing a foldable iPad with 5G support in early 2020. Let me know if there's some major point I'm missing or you think that this is very possible by hitting me up over on Twitter or joining our Discord and we can talk more about it there. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you guys in the next one.